I'm Hunter Lovins. I am in Iowa City today as part of the Energy Fair to talk about the drivers of change. These are big forces in the world that will mean that business as usual will not endure, but it will also open up a lot of opportunities. This expo is sponsored by a number of companies that we might be tempted to say are the bad guys. Are they simply buying their way out of being bad guys? Well, no, I don't think so. Coming to an event like this, hearing some of the possible alternatives of how they can conduct business in ways that use fewer resources is just plain good business. Now, how can I say that? A recent Goldman Sachs report pointed out that the companies that are the leaders in environment, social, and good governance policy have 25% higher stock value than their competitors who are not. And this is the sustainability imperative. Companies will go green or they will die, in part because it's what their customers are demanding, in part because it reduces their risks. Companies are starting to be sued because of their carbon footprint, in part because if you pay attention to how you use energy, how you use other resources, you will be a better managed company. You'll catch the kinds of mistakes that could cost you in the long run. And companies that just say, hey, we don't care, are the kind that make those big mistakes and then cease to exist. It's a very competitive marketplace out there. The University of Iowa here joined Chicago Climate Exchange. This is a, an organization of companies, nonprofits, universities, cities, counties, states, trading carbon in a country where there's no law that says you have to. Now, why on earth would they do that? Why, why would I pay to help a company become more energy efficient? Well, because people like you ask me questions like this. And if I am going to have any credibility, I simply have to be a member of Chicago Climate Exchange. Why would the university here be a member? Because they burn coal. And to the extent that they start fixing up their buildings and putting on renewable energy and reducing their burn of coal, they create what's called a carbon financial instrument, which they can sell to people like me who want to be able to say that on balance, on net, I am carbon neutral. Now, the most important thing that all of us can do is reduce our direct emissions of carbon. So if I don't have to fly, I don't. And I judge whether it is worth getting on an airplane and going to an event based on whether or not I think I can make a difference when I'm there. I drive as little as possible. I drive a very fuel efficient car. As I said, I'm fixing up my home. These are the, these are the most important things to do.